Hi, I'm John Odiambo. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, the simple goal is to have fun with design and manufacturing. I completed my router build about a year ago and also made some videos. Since those were my first YouTube videos, I felt the need to redo them as one main video that covered the entire design and build. I always wanted to build a router that could accommodate an 8x4 plywood sheet. There are plenty of routers in the market for around $8,000 that can accomplish that. I am already familiar with building stuff, so I took on the challenge. My first step was to do some research and referencing before I started creating the CAD models. A lot of attention needs to be paid to the fits, tolerances, and part-to-part -part relationships during the design stage. I then went ahead and ordered the Linear Motion Control hardware set from VVX, the Plug and Play NEMA 23 CNC control system from Avid CNC, Mac 4 software from Artstop Solutions, the 1020, 1030 aluminum extrusions from 8020 Inc. The rest of the components were CNC machines out of aluminum 661 from scratch. We are now ready to begin the actual build. The machine is made up of three sections, that is the body, gantry and the Z-axis. The body is constructed from aluminum 1030 and 1020 extrusions and four CNC machined angle plates. First assemble the slide racks to the 8 foot aluminum 1030 side support extrusions as shown. Now assemble the 1030 and 1020 aluminum extrusions with the 4 CNC machined angle plates using screws and T-nuts as shown. Assemble the bolt screw bushing driver to the mating component as shown. Add the subassembly to the 8 foot bolt screw. Assemble bolt screw support, mortar mount, mortar coupler, stepper mortar, and bolt screw to the subassembly as shown. Repeat the process on the opposite end of the bolt screw. Note that this router has two Y axis stepper mortars. The gantry is constructed out of 1030 aluminum extrusion, the gantry plates, which are machined from scratch, and two 48 inch bearing slides. Join the components together using screws as shown. Now add the motion control hardware to the gantry as in the previous step. Assemble the gantry to the router body.
The Z-axis assembly is self-explanatory. There are also a good amount of readily built Z-axis assemblies out there ready for purchase. The router base is constructed out of 1030 extrusions purchased and cut to size from 8020 in. The parts are joined together using a quarter thick aluminum plate, screws and T-nuts. The assembled base is then married with the router assembly to reveal the space saving machine. An 8x4 plywood backup board is then added. 